Hey, what up, guys? Shows here. Urchai. Um, got an amazing tutorial. I really like this effect. It's called Morphing. Uh, so, yeah, I'll just show you what it is. Uh, where is my preview? And then, this is what it is. So, it goes on, and the text changes to that. So, as you can see, this morphs into something else. So, yeah. Oh, just something. Uh, I saw this tutorial on some other channel, but it got taken down. So thought I'd just remake it so you guys can see it. All right, so I'm gonna call this morphing text tutorial. Um, I'm gonna choose these settings. Press OK. So first things first, gotta make your text. I'm gonna make this one say JPC presents. What you wanna make sure is that um, when you auto trace this. Uh, it has the same amount of mask, so you'll see what I mean uh, in a bit. I'm just uh, all right. One quick tip is that if you go to Windows Align, uh, and you you can center it by using horizontal center and vertical. That's really quick way instead of going to title action and centering it. But yeah, just a little quick tip. All right, so I got my first text done. Disable that, and then. Create a new text. I'm gonna call this one morphing, morphing text, and center that. All right. Oh crap. Oh, one second. It's a little thing I do. All right. So what you want to do first is select your first text. Go to layer, auto trace. Uh, channel luminance, zero blur, make sure it's unchecked, tolerance one, minimum area fifty, threshold fifty, corner roundness zero, and preview select. Alright, press OK. Now disable both of these layers and enable your second text. And go to auto trace and same things, press OK. Now I'm gonna show you what I meant by okay, what's up? I'm gonna, Rename this to morphing text. I right. uh, call this one second text. I'm kind of picky about how I rename things. All right. So what I meant by uh, how many masks is when you press M on your auto trace. As you can see, I have 17 masks for this one, and for this one, I have 17. You just want to make sure uh, when you create your text and auto trace it as the same amount of mask so that um, it doesn't mess up and one text won't be auto traced and morphed. Alright, so first things first is you want to select all your mask back paths. Uh, I do this by just controlling or hit control and select each and every one of these. Uh, I don't know why uh, holding shift and selecting all these doesn't work. But that's just me. Alright, now go to edit, copy, once you select all the paths, and I'm just going to close this one out. Uh, select all of these. No. Select all of these uh, and hit the stopwatch or keyframe. And then go to where you want to start it, hit the diamond, go to where you want to end your morph, and hit control V or edit paste and uh, let's see what happens uh, select out of it okay, and preview and as you can see it looks amazing <laughs> okay so if you like this tutorial please leave a like uh, comment on it for some feedback and if you have questions then subscribe for more videos